As you know, Elon Musk just announced a $100 million prize for carbon capture. The details are still pending, but as somebody who's been in the carbon removal industry for the last couple years, uh, I've looked at a ton of startup profiles. I've worked with people who have designed prizes themselves for things like this. Um, and so I figured I could offer some tips on if you're, if you're working on, on paddling as hard as you can to get ahead of this wave, here's some tips on, on how to win this prize. So the challenge for you is how do you stand out? Like I guarantee that this prize will receive over 10,000 applications. That's a one in 10,000 chance. That's 0.0001% chance of winning. If there's only one winner, which prize details aren't out yet, might be, you know, might be multiple winners or whatnot. Um, but that's just, there's just so many applications, even just at the very, very top of the funnel, like before you get to the, the point of talking to anybody, anybody like reviewing your actual concept, like how do you stand out? So not knowing the details behind what this prize is all about, I can tell you that Elon Musk is already thinking about carbon capture in terms of the Sabatier process to create fuels for interstellar travel. So uh, back in 2019, he was quoted at the, uh, the Starship launch where he was talking about taking atmospheric carbon dioxide and turning it into propellant for Starship. They were gonna do that on Earth, they were gonna do that on Mars. So if you're thinking about carbon capture, to me, it seems like it doesn't hurt if you're able to think of something that eventually could make its way into the space industry, something that maybe could eventually make its way to Mars as a tool, whether it's whether it's capturing fuel or whether it's doing something else on Mars. Uh, that's, I think, a, a pathway to how do you stand out from the from the other ten thousand that aren't going to be thinking as intergalactically as as you might. So the next thought is think wrong about this. The reason this prize is being created. The reason that there's too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is that so far, everybody who's had success, everybody who's tried this, hasn't cracked it open. Nobody so far has solved the challenge of excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. One pathway to try to figure this out is to just think really wrong. Ask kindergartners how they would solve it. Uh, do the opposite of what you see existing companies doing. Just try to try to crack things and and there is an element of you you do need to have some knowledge to do that to come up with something new but put that beginner's mind to work most importantly what this field needs is it needs fresh thinking the ideas the concepts the products that are already out there they're not going to get us there and that's why elon is creating this hundred million dollar prize i bet there's a ton of people out there who are thinking oh my gosh i wish i was in this field like this is already taking off and i'm not in it and i missed the boat so what I want to tell people like that is you didn't miss the boat. Your skills are needed. You just need to figure out how to either join an existing team or create a team. This field needs business skills. It needs science skills. It needs chemistry skills. It needs nunchuck skills. It needs the whole gamut. If you're technical, if you have an engineering background, maybe it's easier to imagine how you don't know anything about carbon capture today, but maybe in a month or two, maybe in six months, you're gonna be able to pull together some concept or some prototype or some idea about uh, how to pull carbon from the air. If that's you, that's great. I look forward to hearing more about your concept. On the other hand, maybe you're more on the business side or the communication side or the marketing side. And you're like, gosh, like getting from here to helping design a system to pull carbon from the air, like how do I do that? The truth is I've seen so many scientists people with great technical ability, great technical ideas even, but they're totally missing the business sides. They're totally missing somebody like you who can help them figure out their, figure out the strategy, figure out the plan, figure out how to build this stuff, who to hire, how to fundraise, all that stuff that there's people out there watching this who are on the technical side who are like, yo, I need some super awesome business person to help figure out how to make this into a business because right now it's just sitting on my lab bench or it's a patent or it's something like that. So. It takes multiple different skills, multiple different people working on these things. You're not gonna win a $100 million prize by yourself. And speaking of communication skills, what carbon capture needs is more memes. Right now there's like a dearth of memes in the carbon space. And what we need is more people joking about, come up with crazy ideas, come up with just, you know, things that, that conflict. They're like, huh, there's something there. Until we have jokes about climate and until we have jokes about carbon, 
we're not going anywhere. Okay, so great, you got curiosity, you've got a background in engineering or business or communications, but you're still like, I, I don't know crap about carbon, carbon what? You do need to know this stuff. And here's how you boot up. We have an air mining 101 guide. You can check out, I'll link all the stuff below, but we've got an air mining 101 guide. We've got the Carbon Removal Academy. We even have a uh, book club that meets every Friday. We're working through the carbon dioxide removal primer that was just published. You can also check out Air Miners events if you want to hear and talk to the people that are that are leading in this field, the people that started you know a few years ago and now are now are figuring out how things work. Okay, so so that's if you're like if you're not already working on a carbon removal thing, that's how you get up to speed. And lastly, do what you can to be in the right place at the right time. You never know when opportunity is going to strike. When maybe Elon mistypes an email that he's sending and it actually it comes to your inbox, like. Figure out how to just be paddling, be prepared, be ready for when those moments strike. As an example of that, I just shipped two air miners hats to the SpaceX office in Hawthorne, California, and we'll see what happens with those. <laughs> so that's it. Love to see more details, but go get that $100 million prize for carbon capture.